Now, I want to see how many people are paying attention. I mentioned something that I wanted you guys to answer in the comment section of my last video. And I had some information. And like I said, disclaimer, this is not running with the narrative. But from what I view, it's called also common sense. Uh, what's going on with uh, Solar and his big spending sprees? Where did he get the these funds to do so? Um, in questioning also, did he in fact take something that it belonged to him, especially if he had something to do with those PPA loans, also uh, belonged to others? But it's very questionable. But we're going to, I have a few receipts of something that might shock you, also make you start to say, because I also have been seeing in the community people saying, look at what he's doing with your money, as in the donators. I don't believe that donations are how he got this $5,000 gaming laptop that he said that he was uh, in dire need of um so he could start making his music that he it looks to me like he got um that gaming computer i'm quite sure when he threw out the amount that was something he was looking into buying and that was what he was uh looking into spending sure enough i will say without a doubt that what i'm seeing in this ig live is a gaming computer and um he got it and i don't think that we're going to throw it all on the donators. I don't think that the donators made this happen, this $5,000 laptop. I think that there was some foul play that happened. I think that this also ties into why uh, it is very easy for Solar to move on. Because if, in fact, this actually happened, that, you know, he may have taken some things that weren't his, let's just say, you know, some coins. I don't think that anybody in the right mind would want to be around Nature Boy if there is any possibility of him getting out because I don't think that he's going to be this uh, master teacher or this uh, spiritual guru. He, he's not going to be God. He's not going to spare him from probably a few things that will be in store for Solar if, in fact, he did take something that prior to Nature Boy getting locked up was his money. Yes, they got the PPA loans, but anything that's brought into that environment is Nature Boy's. It belongs to Nature Boy. So, like I said, we're going to uh, sit back and watch this play out. I know that there's more to the story. I, you know, a lot of people um, also probably agree with me is there a possibility that it wasn't a lie when they announced that money was taken from carbonation? Solar, um, perhaps uh, one person in particular, you know, with all the spending and the toys that he has been buying lately, he was mentioned uh, from True of one of the parties that took something from carbonation when they left. And I think that it was way more than what Loyal took. And, you know, it's starting to play itself out. That's why I say, you know, everybody is actually got a hand in this. Everybody is definitely guilty. Nobody's, you know, better than the other. They all are one mind, one self. They all are on the same frequency as Nature Boy. And I think the reason why... And it's really sad that, you know, in my opinion, he may be um, in the good graces of the public is because of how he has distanced himself with good reason. Because I think I would, too, if allegedly it's being said that 200 and 200,000 to no 100. And let, me, let me put it like this. 100,000 to 200,000 left when Solar left now. This is the possibility of, of what I think that happened with that money. I think that it did leave when Solar left. This is just my opinion. And I believe this is how he's able to, uh, I don't know if that Audi's uh, his car or rental. Uh -huh. It was 10 of them. 
They all applied for a loan. It was twenty thousand dollars, right? Uh-huh. So he got. I don't know if he got it or not, but I think he got their debit cards. I think when he left, he took them people debit cards because if you do the math, twenty thousand times ten is two hundred thousand, right? Uh-huh. So when they get the money, they're all supposed to get. They're supposed to to get twenty thousand a piece, and when they got the money. They were supposed to give the guy, I think his name was like Thai or something. It's some weird name. It's the Jamaican dude who owned a restaurant. When he was in Philly, they was always supposed to have high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's him. He's the one who um, let them stay in his place. So when they get the money, they're supposed to give him, each of them is supposed to give him $10,000. Right? Okay. So I feel like he got some people cards. And he's gonna get that 200k, and when he get it, he's gonna give the man. He's gonna keep his word and give the man 100k, which that was a, that was what they were supposed to give him anyway. And he's gonna keep that money for himself. Cause he like, I got 100k coming within a month. That's because you got that people still. You got that people shit. <laughs> oh my god. And I feel like he is not in Mexico. I think he's only saying that he's in Mexico because he don't want people to know where he at. I think he is at home in California, and once he gets that hundred k, he's gonna leave for Mexico. Yeah, that makes After sense. He told Blue, he like, you can come within a month. You should come sometime. You know, anytime after a month, because you want to give that money time to come and you time to get to where you're going. Wow. I don't know, but I know I'm quite sure that that computer is uh, that brand new gaming computer, that 5K that he said he needed for that gaming computer that he ended up getting. I'm quite sure uh, that is his computer um, and many other things that he's been spending money on and being real flashy about. But... Now, there's a few possibilities that happen. I believe that some of the members that have left, um, they probably got some of their money or probably their half of what the agreement was, which was to give, I think, from the each of them, $10,000 to pay, I want to say, Gargett, um, to stay with him, 100000 There were 10 of them, $10,000 apiece. And I believe, perhaps, just perhaps, Solar left with the other 100000 He left with something more than what he came with, is what I'm saying. Um, this is just my opinion. I'm going to keep saying it because I know Solar. He's been around the barbershop and he's gotten a haircut. I know that Solar likes to deflect. I know he has um, a good way like Nature Boy had of playing the victim and people losing the focus. Stay on the focus, people. This is just further letting you guys know um, that these people are no better than Nature Boy. And if they keep trying to do slick stuff like Nature Boy, so hopefully they're listening and they're taking this as motherly advice because it's not about trying to um, drag somebody down. It's trying to just 
bring awareness to the community and also to the people who potentially are doing things that are being noticed so that they don't end up like Nature Boy in jail. Because in fact, if he did take those PP a loans that initially was going to be on nature boy's hands. And now you ran with it, uh, a percentage of it or all of it. I don't know, but I'm just saying a large percentage of it, at least in my opinion, you probably, uh, may have, you could potentially be getting yourself in a lot of trouble. So I think that, you know, you should be looking at this. If you're in the bushes as, um, you know, sound advice, a lot of people are not going to tell you this because they're waiting for you to burn uh, to the ground and destroy yourself. They're acting as though you're, they're your friends, but they're not. Um, they want to see you self-destruct like you're doing, that I believe that you're doing. And I hope that you figure this out sooner than later. And we got to stop paying attention to the people that are in the community that are bringing these gems to us. Because I don't think that we are. And I think that we are allowing people to put wool over our eyes. And there's a lot more going on than you think. And there is a narrative being pushed of things that are senseless uh, to distract you. And I don't think that you guys need to be distracted. I think you need to be kept well aware of the possibilities. These are not the facts that I have on this video. But the strong possibilities of foul play being um, done and also things that are distracting us like, you know, oh, they're, they're trying to make money on YouTube. They don't want to work. So now they got a YouTube channel. But in all actuality, they're doing better than we are. Because if, in fact, Solar did take that money from Nature Boy and ran with it, now he's living happily ever after with Nateri. Um, he doesn't need to do YouTube for a long time. He's got some money that he can, he can live off of for quite some time before he starts to need to need us or for our viewership on his YouTube channel for that matter. If anything, he's, he's being on, he's being smart on, um, the fact that, yeah, he has money he can live off of now, but he's also going to use that time to stop working, doing what he loves, which is music or making sounds or whatever it is that he's doing or does and building uh, more money to put back from what he spent already since he's been out of carbonation or since we've been seeing him spending online on social media, you know what I'm saying? And also, uh, you know, build it for his future and the money that obviously he has now, he's going to be able to do whatever he needs to do because you know, he's sitting on a little bank right now. This is how I'm viewing what's going on, this whole scenario. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I didn't know how I was going to present the information, how I was going to put it together, but um, there will be some more updates. I know that there will be distractions. I know Solar will, Sassy Solar will get onto other panels and start his little rambling and gossiping and acting as though he's, you know, a victim. Um, but you know, I'm, um, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. So he can, he can, you know, fake you guys out, but he's not going to fake me out is what I'm going to say to you. Um, you know, you could either live in the lie, which goes on and on and on, or you can live in the truth which which is ceased and desists everything. So you have a choice. Um, I think that you should live in the truth because, uh, it sets everything free and, then we know what to believe and we just keep it moving on people like this because we know how they get down and we know that they're not conscious and we just, just love them from, from afar. We can't hate them, but have love for them from afar, but keep it moving.